Family Ties Popular Japanese paranormal investigators Hiro and Tomo from the YouTube channel Omega Toki Film are contacted by one of their viewers about a house with a horrifying history. The former occupants of the house were at one time a happy family. A man, his wife, and their daughter. But their happy life eventually turned to tragedy. Over the years, the couple's daughter began to develop a severe mental disorder. And one night, she tragically took her own life in her bedroom. The girl's mother and father were absolutely devastated by the violent passing of their daughter. Overcome by grief, the couple also took their own lives right in the same bedroom where their daughter had passed away. This tragic case shocked the community and the house has remained empty ever since. Eventually, the home was inherited by a relative, a man who wishes to only be referred to as Tajima. Tajima claims he's experienced unnerving paranormal events every time he visits the house. The activity has become so extreme that he's reluctant to even return there. So the owner Tajima reaches out to the Omagatoki film team, who agree to investigate the tragic alleged haunting. First, the Omagatoki team asks the owner to give them a tour of the house and show them the bedroom where the family took their own lives. Not long after they enter, the guys experience something chilling. <laughs> で、なくなってたっていうのも、あの階段登った先なんですよね。うん。確かにそんな事故をね、見てしまったとなったら、なかなか厳しい。じゃあさ、あの階段を登った先、こう、一気に空気が変わる可能性が。ちょっと、ち
梅木声みたいなの聞こえてますけどびっくりした今ちょっと神経が高ぶってるっていうのも原因としてあると思いますここに住まれてる方ですかここに住んでいた家族ですか今もいますかこの声は誰のものですか娘さんですか叫び声で何か伝えようとしてますか Another terrifying moan can be heard from somewhere within the house, but Hiro can't find the source. So, eventually, Hiro heads back upstairs and enters the bedroom where all three family members took their own lives. That's when he captures something that is pure nightmare fuel. Thank you, Kitrun. あれなんで電気消えてんだろうもう充電切れしたのかなあ録音止まってるな、はあ、いやそんな長い充電切れるほどでやってないんですけど What appears to be a tuft of long dark hair can be seen creepily sliding along the floor and just out of sight. Hiro doesn't even notice the chilling event until he looks back at his footage later. He goes back to check the area, but there's nothing there. So, what then is this? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire three part investigation with even more spooky moments. Over on the YouTube channel, Omagatoki Film. A cry for help. TikTok user Ali McDaniel from Raleigh, North Carolina says that he just returned from a fishing trip when he heard something odd coming from a nearby public toilet. Perhaps the sound of a screeching animal. He pulls out his phone and moves closer to film the odd sound. But it turns out it's not the sound of an animal at all. Yo, what the? Yo! <laughs> A woman can be heard screaming desperately for help from inside the public restroom. But when Ali goes inside and checks, he soon realizes that there's no one there. Shocked by the experience, he posts his video to TikTok, and many concerned viewers believe that he might have caught a spirit, or possibly even a skinwalker. But what do you think? Yo, what the? F a phantom favor. Security guard Freddy works at a busy construction site in Texas. He says that during a night shift, a construction worker named Jose needed help moving a giant heavy wooden cable reel. Jose is relieved when a fellow worker who he's never met suddenly offers to help him out. After they move the heavy cable reel, Jose looks back over to thank the young man. But he's disappeared.
Jose reports what happened to the security guard, Freddy, and to his foreman. But they tell Jose that he was the only worker on duty that night. He was completely alone on the job site. So as a matter of site security, they check the CCTV footage and they're shocked by what they find. And this is where things get really weird because Jose spots a photo on the wall inside the office and recognizes the man in the picture as the man who helped him out that night. Security guard Freddy and Jose's foreman are chilled to their core. Because you see, the man Jose points out in the photo passed away over seven years ago. The man's name was Alan Lopez and back in 2015 when he was only 21 years old, he was hit by a truck on the job site and passed away almost instantly. Security guard Freddy decides to post the bizarre footage on TikTok, but after receiving some backlash, he decides to actually show just how difficult it is to move one of the heavy wooden cable reels. So could it be that Jose received help from the ghost of Alan Lopez, whose spirit is still wandering the job site? Let me know down in the comments. Scared to death. Paranormal investigators Sergey, Nastia, and Igor from the YouTube channel Toppy set out to explore a recently abandoned funeral home in Morgue somewhere in Russia. Locals claim that the funeral home is haunted by multiple ghosts. Presumably the spirits of the deceased who have passed through its halls on the way to the other side. Late into the night, the group decides to split up to explore. It does not go well. Against her better judgment, Nastia agrees to sit all alone in total darkness in the funeral home chapel. Nastia can't see anything, but as a static IR camera records, we can see her start to get a bit freaked out. Now what happens next is absolutely terrifying. Like darkness, Nastia can't see a thing, but a crucifix suddenly falls off a table nearby. But most horrifying of all, the coffin behind her moves by itself. In the dark, Nastia has no idea what the sounds are, but nevertheless, the noises scare her enough that she decides to just get out of there. After Nastia leaves, the static camera continues to record. And what it captures is like something right out of a horror movie. A dark shape appears on top of the coffin and then slowly floats up towards the ceiling before disappearing into thin air. The Toppy team has no idea what this bizarre shape could be. So could it be that the abandoned funeral home is haunted? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Toppy. Just over your shoulder. 
This next video is a bit of a mystery as it was posted nearly 13 years ago to an anonymous YouTube channel called LeBron Who 422. The video description says that the channel owner and his two friends were hanging out in the basement of their shared home for the very last time before moving out. They're recording a few videos to remember their time at their old home when things take a terrifying turn. Lois, how are you doing? Dude, come on, man. <laughs> I just lost like Shut 50 up. blocks in cards. You can get over it. I know. I'm just gonna have to. Stucco, what are you doing over there? I think I found a mouse in here somewhere. <laughs> are you serious? Dude, Dude it's stuck. I don't know Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. Dude, I'm not standing Turn the lights on. <laughs> Turn the lights on. I'm not standing I'm with a mouse. I'll do it. I'll do it. I can't see anything. There's no mouse in here. There's something in there. I There's not. Did you get it? I can't see it. I'm doing something. Did you get the mouse trap? Yeah. Uh, really right, Did you see it? Someone or something can be seen standing behind one of the friends just inside the basement storage area. But when they go inside and turn on the light, there's nothing there. So did the group of friends accidentally capture evidence of the paranormal inside their basement? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The thing downstairs. Sophia says that she's been experiencing bizarre supernatural activity in her home in Argentina. She's home alone one night when she starts to hear strange sounds coming from downstairs. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. Hola, gente. Otra vez el Paco está haciendo compañía hoy, pero ya estoy sola. Todo el día se escucha un río de abajo. Y la verdad que no sé. Ay, la con el olor a algo ahí. ¡Sora! ¡Sora, subí! Ay, no, Dios santo. Sophia sees an ominous dark figure at the bottom of the staircase, slowly reaching out towards her. But Sophia is not having it. She rushes down to protect her dog and cat who are both downstairs. But the hands disappear and there's nothing there. Only her two visibly upset pets. So could this be something supernatural? Or is it just another TikTok hoax? You decide. The night visitor. Nukestop5 subreddit poster VegetableSoft2865 says that in the middle of the night her two-year-old son woke up and got out of bed. She put him back down and then decided to check her baby camera to see what might have disturbed him. What she found was truly shocking. Did you see it? Something seems to be touching or moving the child's ear as he tries to sleep. The movement is so aggressive that it actually wakes the little boy up, and he grabs at his ear and then looks around to see who or what was touching him. Redditor VegetableSoft2865 says that her son has never been able to move his ears on his own, especially not the top of his ear, and she believes that something paranormal could be in her home. But, as always, let me know what you think. Lights out. Reddit user Comcap7292 says that for a while now she's been seeing strange shadow figures in her home, but she's always wondered if it was just her imagination. So as a test, she decides to set up a laser light grid in her hallway and sets a camera to record each night. Late one night as she's watching TV in bed, something happens that is absolutely chilling. A 
large shadow suddenly blocks out the lights from the laser grid. Then just as the mysterious shadow disappears, the bedroom TV starts to glitch out. Now the Reddit user claims that no one was in the hallway at the time of this recording and she says that she has no idea what this strange shadow could be. Shadow of Doubt Late one afternoon in Spain, TikTok user Les spots the shadow of a pigeon perched just outside her second floor window. She decides to record a funny video for scaring the bird away. But when she approaches the window, things take a very odd turn. Hay algo ahí y no sé qué es. A shadow can be seen through the blinds, but when Les lifts the curtain, there is no pigeon or anything else for that matter. But the shadow remains and then just suddenly moves away. Les, who has never posted any other supernatural video, is baffled by the incident. She says that she doesn't really believe in the supernatural, but also she says she has no clue what the odd shadow could have been. So is this something paranormal or just an odd trick of the light? The Dark Passenger Very early one morning, a bus driver from Pungol, Singapore is getting ready to start his shift when he looks at the bus's CCTV camera and spots what looks like a person sitting in the bus's upper deck, which should be empty. When the bus driver goes upstairs to investigate, the strange figure he spotted on the bus's CCTV is not there. The seats are all empty. So did the bus driver capture a paranormal event on camera? Or what do you think is going on here? I leave it up to you to decide. Thank you so much for watching. I'm still working out scheduling and a new editor and all sorts of stuff. So please subscribe and hit the little notification bell so that you never miss a video. Hopefully I'll see you back here again next time.